The top 10 NGSA 2016 pupils of Region 5 received gifts from the Ministry of Social Cohesion earlier today. Michael Khan reports. Sandy Aramu, Sony Karan, Yuvraj Jawahir, here, Maria Bach, Simran Ramsahai, Joshua Mohammed, Nalicia Williams, Ishani Barnett, Gavin Bristol, Drupati Nall. Who are those pupils? Those are our top 10 pupils for this region. And I want you to stand and give them an ovation, standing ovation, please. That was District Education Officer Sadiq Ishmael acknowledging the top 10 NGSA 2016 performers in Region 5 who each received a bicycle and a backpack from the Ministry of Social Cohesion for their outstanding performances. The simple but significant presentation ceremony took place this morning at the Blairmont Primary School, West Bank, Burbies, where the Honorable Minister of Social Cohesion, Amna Ali, delivered the feature address to a gathering of regional and education officials, teachers, parents, awardees, and other students of the Blairmont Primary School. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate all those children who did well at the recent NGSA and particularly to commend those who excel and according to the records I see that four pupils have come from Blairmont Primary School. Isn't that wonderful? The Honorable Minister also underscored the need for pursuing higher learning in the 21st century and the importance of government assistance. President, President Granger, his dream is for every child to be properly educated. And he believes that now is the time for us to prepare our children. And that is why he has tried and he is trying his best to remove any impediment in the education system to ensure that our boys and girls receive the best education. Our Minister Ali further lamented. To you boys and girls, I want to say this. You really had a lot of play days, I would say, in your primary school, in your primary school life. Now, you are moving to a higher level. You are moving to deal with your secondary education, and from there, you are going to do your tertiary going to university, and some of you may not want to stop probably at University of Diana, but you will want to move on. I know that there are some young people who doesn't believe that there is stopping where education is concerned. They always want to go higher. And that is a very, very good thing. We must commend our young people who believe that they should go to higher heights. Also delivering brief remarks at the ceremony was the Region 5 Education Officer, Owen Pollard. As we are all aware, the National Grade 6 assessment is the yardstick for entry into secondary schools. While every pupil and their parent would aspire for their top secondary schools in the country, this is not always possible. Thus, the cream of our nation's pupil are offered places in those schools. We are here because of the creep of region by the student population of grade six. 874 student pupils were entered in this year's national grade six examinations. Of this, 854 would have sat the examination. 24 of these students would have gathered marks in excess of 500. And this, in, to us, is a great achievement for a region that is declining over the years. I want to applaud those children. 
After receiving their special gifts, Minister Ali then delivered a charge to the awardees. I extend hearty congratulations to you. I ask you that whenever you're going to ride, you ride safely. You don't want to hear any uh, child getting rough down on the road by riding these bicycles. So I ask you to be safe. Top student of Region 5, Sandia Ramu, then expressed profound gratitude to the Ministry of Social Cohesion for acknowledging the top performers in the region. I would like to thank, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, Honorable Minister, for presenting us with these special gifts for our outstanding performance at National Forensics Assessment. I can assure you we will make full use of these gifts and take care of it. Once again, thank you. A similar presentation ceremony took place earlier today in New Amsterdam, where the Region 6 top students were honored. Details in a subsequent newscast. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.